come together to remember an event that happened 37 years ago that took the lives of Gunther Corvu, Donald Davies, Euro Mitrinen, and Brian Stevenson. They were working on the 36th floor of Bent Hall 4, right behind me, when the fly form that they were on broke away and those four members fell to their death. So this early in the new year event, it lets us think about tragic lives lost and workers that die on the job, serious injuries that occur on the job, and disease that comes from exposures on the job. We can then think about that and it sets the stage for the new year for us at WorkSafe BC. We're more than an organization that is dealing with numbers or issues. We deal with people. We deal with people's lives and their livelihood. This event lets us reaffirm our commitment to health and safety. It is my sincere hope that your pain is lessened by knowing that the lives of your loved ones are remembered and honored. That their deaths were a catalyst for change, change that has prevented countless other deaths and injuries among construction workers and still more must be done and will be done to ensuring workers are safe and families are reunited at the end of the workday. I see that Bryn has handed out the roses. This year, unfortunately, we had to hand out 44. 17 of those roses are red, and 27 of those roses are white. The red roses represent those workers who last year went to work, didn't get home at the end of the day. The 27 white roses represent those workers who went to work many years ago, were exposed to asbestos or thallium or lead, and were over many decades poisoned by their exposures. Today we gather here and like every other year, the weather is, is usually terrible. It's cold, it's wet, and yet today was a tremendous turnout because these people, they believe what we believe, that health and safety is important, that we can do more to ensure that every worker goes home at the end of their day.